Kunde lingri hizi zehiada Kude lenda hikuru de biada Worship is holy name Sing like never before Oh my soul I'll worship your holy name. Sing it again. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, 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 oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before Oh my soul I'll worship your holy name Yes, we do. yes I will Worship your holy name Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 8, 8 verse 18. Verse 18. Down but, to 20. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that has given thee power to get wealth, mm-hmm. that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. And it shall be if thou shalt if thou do all if thou do all forget the Lord thy God and walk after other gods and serve them and worship them, I testify against you this day that you shall surely perish. Verse 20. As for the nations which the Lord destroyed before your face, so shall ye perish because you would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God. Father, we thank you. We bless your name for this Sunday telecast. We give you praise. We give you honor. Lord, we've made a commitment to serve you with our children all it is our life. You see, I am the children who the Lord has given to me for signs and one and the Lamb. Lord, we will serve you so that we can see your face and see your glory. Blessed be God for this Sunday service. Thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, let's shoot quickly. Now, this uh, telecast uh, 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 is going to be brief. I'm going to also go in to do a lot of Bible reading. But I want to take my... Uh, uh, of course, that's my test, Deuteronomy. But my topic is word transfer. Word transfer. We are living the time where people are uh, trusting God for their daily bread. We're living the time where people don't know where their next meal will come from. We're living the time where people are even committing suicide because either have no money or their business went down. But I tell you, there's still money on the planet Earth. The money on the planet Earth can never finish until the world comes to an end. Word transfer. Let me start by saying that there is so much word on it today that the world cannot lack money, no matter it is. Regardless of the world population, the world will not lack anything. As a matter of fact, the, the word is a mindset. Is the mindset. You could see people uh, uh, go, being to a very remote area of nation whereby they are called third world nations. But they flew, uh, they flew in there and begin to make money, make money. Somebody said, uh, concerning some Chinese people, say when they landed in a country called Nigeria, they say we, we, we are seeing opportunity all over the places. Opportunity. Why? They've seen population. What they could do in their country, they, they, uh, they came to Nigeria and begin to uh, do. So there are so much work in this world that we can't even finish it. You hear this? The, 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 the inflation or the unemployment that's going on on the world today is not as a result because there's no money again on earth. There's money. Gold and silver belong to God. We can't even finish it. We are here to discover more wealth in the land. More wealth in the land. Now, so my friend was, was sharing with me, called me, was sharing with me. He said his friend in the U.S. Now, he has a boat in the U.S., uh, suddenly they discover oil there and they had to every month they said they be giving five hundred thousand uh, uh, dollars but this is a man he passed a man was struggling to pay rent or pay this and that uh, even service his mortgage there is wet on there that we've not yet discovered 
until we key into the, uh, to what God is saying in this end time before we can see the word we are talking about. Now, people talk about reducing population. Uh, that's one of the things the pandemic is where the world population is too much. We have 7.8 billion. We need to reduce the population of the world. Yeah, this, even if you reduce the population of the world to 3 billion, there still be poverty in the land. Because Jesus says, say the poor shall not depart from thee. So they will still be poor. Now, 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 because you see, in, in, in Matthew chapter 20, uh, 20, 20, uh, 20 is, is, Jesus will say, say, for the poor will not depart from, uh, will, will remain among you. So whether the population of the world is 3 billion, the poor will still be there. What is work transfer then? Now listen to, to, the, uh, to, to the definition of work transfer. For an additional wealth transfer is wealth transfer is a transfer of wealth or access to another person called beneficiary. Wealth transfer is a transfer of wealth or money called a beneficiary. The person who is given is called a beneficiary. The transferor could do this to the transferee either when he's alive or dead. You don't, you don't need to transfer wealth when you die. You know you can do it even when you're living. When people are talking about transfer of wealth, they say, well, maybe when they die, they're going to win with their property. No, you can transfer wealth to somebody else even when you're alive. I've seen people who are poor somehow got uh, orchestrated it and they, 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 they met a man or a woman who's so rich and they transfer wealth to them. You say, I am old right now. I can't manage my business anymore. Take over my business. That is wealth transfer. You are going to encounter someone who will transfer word to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be no lack. There shall be no lack. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, now, I'm going to show you some people in the Bible that actually experienced this word transfer during their time. The first person I'm going to show you is Abraham, Father Abraham. I love that name, Father Abraham. Genesis chapter uh, 13, verse 1 to 12. Now, if you read Genesis chapter 12, God was speaking to him, say, I will make you a blessing. And the whole nation will call you blessed. Now, those things came to, as at that time, Abraham is not a millionaire. As at that time, Abraham had not so much wealth in, in, in chapter 12. Now, when God pronounced a blessing upon you, hold on, it will speak. He said, though he tarried, yet he will speak. Because the vision, how about you say the vision for appointed time? Though he tarried, it will speak. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 13, verse 1. To 12. Genesis, Let's see the account. Genesis chapter 13 from verse 1. Yes. And Abraham went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and lot with him into the south. Uh -huh. And Abraham was very rich in cattle. He was very rich in cattle. In silver and, and silver in gold. And in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where he his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and I. Hallelujah. Now, Abraham was very rich. They, they, in fact, it was not kind of this day they say, well, he's, uh, because he's righteous, he's rich in holiness. No. He, Bible uh, atomizes it with gold, cattle, and silver. Now, if you see a man that have gold and silver, fear him because he can't be broke. Hallelujah. Now, fiat currency will fade. Fiat currency will fade. Now, now, what happened in Zimbabwe many years ago that that uh, Zimbabwe dollar have no value anymore. There was a time, I think, after Hitler war or something like that, uh, uh, in, in Germany, they said they had to they had to take a whole wheelbarrow to carry money to buy bread in Germany. They, it came to a point that even newspaper is more have more value than, than the money. So when you see a man that have a uh, silver and gold, fear him, diamond, fear him, because he's wet. It's for generation. Abraham had all this thing. Why? Because it was a pronouncement to him in, 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 in Genesis chapter 12. Now, when God wants to transfer word to you, it could come for your enemies. It could come for enemies. To, for this, it was Pharaoh. Pharaoh transferred word to Abraham because of the encounter he had with God. God saw to his soul, look, you try to touch Sarah. That is Abraham's wife. And because of that, Pharaoh had to appeal to to. to Abraham and give you so much weight. That is called weight transfer. It is your turn, it's your season to receive that weight transfer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As a matter of fact, as you enter March, you God gonna march you forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The second person is his son called Isaac. Isaac also experienced weight transfer, like the same the same procedure, the same the, uh, uh, at times is it a coincidence? That the same thing, but this time it was not Pharaoh, it was King Abimelech. 
that transfer word to him. Genesis chapter 26, verse 1. Genesis it was a verse one. Yes. And there was a famine in the land uh -huh. beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. That's right. And Isaac went into Abimelech, the king of the Philistines, unto Gera. <laughs> and the Lord appeared unto him and said, God. Go not down into Egypt. Dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Now, just stop there. Stop there. What, what struck my mind? In, in a time of famine, some people are still rich. No matter the economy of nations, whether they are going down or not, when God is with you, you'll be rich. If we had an, in fact, as a matter of fact, if uh, during inflation, so uh, 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 inflation and unemployment that's, that hit a nation, people thrive on it. Where Buffett said, he said, when the economy of the U.S. crashed down, he was, he was excited, he was so happy. He said, this is time for me to make money. He was buying stock, buying stock, buying stock, because he knew he going to pick up. So during scarcity, during uh, a famine, Isaac was also blessed. Continue for me to verse 6. Verse 4. Yes. And I will make thy seed to multiply, multiply. as the stars of heaven, uh -huh. and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Be blessed. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice Ooh, and kept my charge, Abraham. my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Mm. And Isaac dwelled in Gerah. And the men of the place. No, no, I'm not going to stop there. Jump, jump quickly to verse 12 to 14. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him, and the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For until he had he very great. Look for at he had verse. possession of flocks, uh -huh. possession of herds, yes. great store of servants, and the Philistines envied him. The Philistines envy in a straight land. I want people to measure my word. God is going to so much bless all that I say, uh, uh, Pastor Francis S. He has private jet, he has yacht, he has estate. He has, he, have, he has blessed nations of the world. In fact, he lent money to nations of the world. Mentioned it. He built an estate to orphanage. To the orphanage. The blessing, the word transfer. Another person you could see is Jacob. Jacob experienced word transfer in Genesis chapter 31, verse 1. Genesis 31, verse 1. Genesis chapter 31. Verse one. Verse 1. And he heard the words of Laban's son saying, Jacob had taken away all that was our father's, <laughs> and of that which was our father's had he gotten all his glory. Hallelujah. You see, Jacob, now this, now this was Jacob. Who, when Jacob left the house, he has no money. But when he get to Laban, because of the, of, 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 of the blessing, because of the war pronounced upon him, money was chasing him, wet was chasing him. He, he, he becomes so more prosperous than even Laban. Where transfer when you are working under prophecy, it does not matter the kind of business you are doing right now, money will just flow in. You could be selling water, you could be selling a peanut, money will just flow to you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. I heard about the story of a man in the US who is a chartered accountant. All the years he was working as a chartered accountant, he couldn't make so much money, but he resigned and began to fry peanut and uh, he coat his peanut with, uh, with honey. And it was supplying people to the point I recognized that I was told that uh, during the uh, uh, Bill Clinton inauguration, he was one that supplied them peanut. This man bought a private jet. Wet transfer. God transfer wet to you via ideas. God transfer wet to you via the people you connected with. When the, when the Lord opened up your mind, opened up your brain, he could carry your leg to the place that you didn't dream of. What about Joseph. <laughs> in a strange land. Now, all these people I mentioned that they, they did it, it was not in their country. Joseph in a strange land. Genesis chapter 41. Genesis chapter 41. They are in a strange land. Even though we're in a strange land, we can still make it. Because we saw that in the Bible. Genesis chapter 41, verse 38 to 44. Genesis chapter 41 from mm. verse 38. 38. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, mm -hmm. Can we find such a one as Can this, a man in whom this? the Spirit of God is? Uh -huh. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has Ooh. showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Mm. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Mm. Only in the throne will I Only be greater than will thou. Be greater than and Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of <laughs> Egypt. Hallelujah. Amen. Pharaoh now told him, Look, it is only the throne that I am bigger than you. So you will be the one to go. What does mean? He transfer wet to him. He transfer wet. He, he, he decide what happens. 
a strange, a strange mind, a strange land. It is a, but I'm a slave. I'm a slave boy. How am I going to make? No, when I see people who complain too much, I run away from them. Fear a man who complain too much. He must, he must have an excuse why he's failing. In the strange land. Now, God had to open up the mind of, of, of Joseph to give him this gift to interpret the dream. That was say when God wants to transfer away to you, it could, it could cause a big problem to a billionaire who you will be the only one to interpret it. When you interpret it, what transfer to you? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What about the children of Israel in Egypt? Bible says that the children of Israel, if you see, you could see it in Exodus chapter 3, verse 21 to 22. The children of Israel, all the years they labored in Israel, they thought it's all over. But one day the Lord came and said, Look, I'm about to take you out, go borrow uh, for, for your neighbors. Uh, they borrow jewelry, borrow gold. Overnight they become a millionaire. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21 to 22. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. Mm. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Favor. And it shall come to pass Papaya. that when you go, you shall not go you empty. You shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor uh -huh. of, of that that sojourned in her house, mm -hmm. jewels of silver, jewels of gold and raiment. You shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters and you shall spoil the Egyptians. That is overflow. I call that overflow. Overflow grace. Favor. He said, you shall put on upon your children and your daughters. So they have so much, so much gold and, and silver. Now, gold, now, hear yeah, this. Egypt, there in those days, Egypt is the most richest country in the world. I don't know, I was just meditating to this. By now, Egypt should be one of the superpowers. Egypt, Egypt was one of the places where you can go and seek for gold, go and seek for silver and diamond. But how come about that uh, other nations are taking over Egypt? Egypt cannot be cannot be compared to America or, or to see even Singapore of yesterday. Somehow they miss it. You will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There's going to be a, a transfer of wealth from generation to generation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today people will see a cry of unemployment in Egypt. But you see, when you go to Egypt, you can see some things that it will blow up your mind. Is it the same Egypt they talk about in the Bible? Where are the gold? Where are the silver? Where are the all, all the word? Why? Because of the mindset of leaders. For generational generation begin to fail, begin to fail. You will not fail your generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The church have not seen work, work like what is going to hit the church in this end time. Before the second coming of Jesus Christ, we're going to see where that will enter the church that the whole world will begin to jealousy. Why? How is the church prospering? They will know the secret. I love the Jewish people. When a Jewish man is selling a, 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 a matches, for example, he can prosper with the matches. When a Jewish man is selling a notebook, uh, 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 he can prosper with that. When a Jewish man is selling a vegetable, he can prosper with that. In, uh, in Israel, Israel become a wonder unto many. Nation like Lebanon, nation like uh, uh, other surrounding them, they come to me. They say, "How come about they're in desert? They're producing vegetables in desert." Hallelujah. So, so we need to know what about. King Solomon, King Solomon, in First Kings chapter ten, verse twenty-one to uh, to uh, twenty-two, twenty-three. Solomon was so rich that the up to today, nobody is so rich as Solomon anymore. Not one. Get ready for a wealth transfer in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We need to ask God for the real wealth that to be transferred to us, a wealth that will make us see His glory. But my question is this: When, why, why do you need wet transfer? We are praying for wet transfer. What do you need it for? God have tried some people in the church with just some few dollars, and they fail. Bible said the prosperity of the wicked will kill him. Get ready for wet transfer if you must use it for His glory. Hallelujah! Now, now I thought I was making some research, and I I saw that. Uh, 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 68 trillion dollars will be transferred to the next millennium by 2061. 68 billion trillion dollars will be transferred. As I said, by that time, I will be, I'll be, I'll be 94 years. So this I'm going to be transferred to my children, children. Hallelujah. Now, what will qualify you for this one transfer? Number one, you are right standing with God. You are right standing with God. It will qualify you for this word transfer because God will carry word to those who uh, who have His mind, in, who have Him in His mind. 
Word transfer. Number two, kingdom assignment mindset. A man that have kingdom assignment mindset, you must carry God's uh, 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 project on your head. When you see a child who is going to stretch or pay in the bill. Now, 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 last year pandemic, uh, I even told this earlier this year, a lot of church have closed down. Someone told me in California, a lot of church closed down because they couldn't meet up to, 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 to pay in the bills of the church. But when you have this kingdom mindset, assignment, God begin to transfer where to you. If you are the one receive it right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Number three, you must be a crazy giver. Crazy giver. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. You can see the time will fail us. You must be a crazy giver. Luke chapter, uh, chapter 6 uh, verse 36 says, Give and shall be given to you. People want to receive, receive, but they don't want to give. If you want to receive, 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 receive without giving, it's a problem. Because it is like a death sea. The death sea that keep collecting is stinks. Hallelujah. So you must be a crazy giver. As money enter your hands, give it, ready to distribute, ready to distribute. Hallelujah. Then lastly, number four, for the preservation of generation. When God transfers work to your hand, it's for the preservation of the generation. For generation to generation. Not for you to just carry the money and bury it. Uh, uh, people bury money in uh, buried dollars on the ground. And some of them die. The, nobody knows where they bury the money. Selfishness. Kingdom assignment. Be crazy. Be a ready to uh, be a crazy giver. Then your word is for the preservation of generations. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Look at the promise of the Lord in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. You need to pray over this. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. The verse 12. Chapter 28. Yes, verse the 12. Shall open unto thee is good treasure. Amen. And the heavens to give thee rain upon thy land. Amen. Season, Amen. And to bless all the work of thy hand. Amen. Thou shalt lend unto many nations, yes. and thou shalt not borrow. That is who you are. That is who you are. Amen. We're going to lend to nations. My children are going to lend to nations. Amen. The nation who we're going through drought, they say, we, there's, no, there's no food. They say, you need food? They will, they will not a truck, they will load a ship load. Say, we'll, we'll give you free. Land to nations. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. They just give to nations. We go to a community and say, well, there's no water in this community. Ah, they say, no, no, we're talking about when we're alive, they provide waters. The, the, the people who begin to carry project meant for government to carry. That's the word we're talking about. Hallelujah. Amen. The word is coming. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, lastly, let me read. Let me read. I'm so excited. This 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 for this day, this from this service. Hallelujah. Now, proverb, proverb chapter. When you talk about money without reading proverb, it's like you so complete. Proverb is loaded with wisdom. Plus proverb and ecclesiastics. Proverb chapter 13, verse 22. Proverbs 13, 22. Yes. A good man liveth an inheritance to his children's children. Hallelujah. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Hallelujah. Did you see that? Live it. Is, live it. You live. Not, you don't die and leave your children in, in misery. The woman cried to the, to, to, to the prophet. He said, prophet, you know how my husband loved the Lord and served the Lord. But now he's gone. The creditor, he left debt for them. Left debt. At your old age, you will not live there for your children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That they will look and say, Thank God we have a father like, like this. Thank God we have a mother like him, like her. But not dead. My sister was, was speaking to me on Sunday. He said, My father never borrowed from anybody. I said, Yes. Even when, she, when, he, when, he, when he was sick for four years. And he, she was asking me, say, or oh, 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 after this better because I will left after that. Did anybody come to ask whether uh, Papa borrowed money from somebody during when he was sick and he couldn't pay? I said, not one. Rather, people can say that he borrowed us money, but we can't pay any money. I know he's gone. Not one. He didn't die and left. He didn't leave any debt for us. So people are coming. You know, you, uh, I paid your father's hospital bill. I paid no, not one. Not one. That is what I'm talking about. It is your season. 
Amen. Begin to pray, Say, my father, my father. My father, my As I father. begin to pray right As now, I begin to pray open right up now. my heaven. Open up. Let me receive where transfer. In the name of Jesus. 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 the name of Jesus. In 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 the name of Jesus. Share at in Jesus' Lord. name, Amen. See, Father, Father, according to the Deuteronomy, according to the I will lend to nation, I will lend to nation, and not borrow, and not borrow in the mighty name of Jesus. I will lend to nation, I will lend to nation, and not borrow. My children will lend to nations and not borrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our generation is blessed, our generation is blessed in the name of Jesus. We lack nothing, we lack nothing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are not. A beggar, but a believer, ready to give to nations of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you don't know Jesus, you don't you don't need to pray for this word. No Jesus fair because the Bible said the prosperity of the wicked will kill him. So you that's worship me right now, or that you're worshiping life, you're gonna worship me later in any 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 social media platform. You're gonna say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, then you repentance. Have mercy on me and wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Jesus, I accept you into my heart. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. Bless your name for this one. Lord, preserve them, O God. Keep them safe from the hands of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now that you're saying congratulations, you're my brother, you're my, you're my friend. Please go to our website and just send us a message. Drop a message. Tell, uh, let, let us know that you got born again through the telecast. I'm going to write back to you and send you some material that's going to be a blessing to you in the mighty name of Jesus. God will bless you. God will keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Also go to our Amazon uh, our book uh, bookstore. You're going to get our books. Also go to our bookstore. Go to also our website. Get any of our books, any of the title. All right. Uh, it's going to bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is uh, Sunday. We're going to give an offering. Or uh, If you're watching us live and you want to also give your offering, go to our website. Uh, go to Place Call Partner with us. Partner with us. Then uh, follow the instruction there and drop your offering. No matter the country you're watching us from, you can give your offering in your currency. And as we receive it, we're going to acknowledge it and begin to uh, pray for you in the name of Jesus. This is your season of harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord will keep you in the name of Jesus. Don't Amen. forget on Thursday because on Thursday we are coming live. The same God is at work. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget no matter what is going on right now, the same God is still at work in your life. I see you on Thursday and keep celebrating this new month we're heading to Amen. the month of March, who is my birthday. God bless you. Hallelujah. Shalom. Amen. Ciao, ciao.